Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. We're going to get into some NBA action for uh, Monday, December the uh, 11th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this VIP club section. And you see it here. You have all these tabs here with tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so the NBA season is... You know, full swing, we're a quarter of the way through the season. There's a lots of good games coming up. The surprise team in the NBA is the Minnesota Timberwolves, first place overall, 17-4 um, record at the time of this recording. So let's take a look at some of these games. The first game we want to look at is the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Orlando Magic. Cleveland's coming in burning hot. You can see winners of their last three and five out of their last six. Well, Orlando has averaged up four and two over their last six and coming off of a big win over Detroit. Um... Orlando is a favorite with odds of 1.51 to 2.834. Uh, if you look at, take a look at the over-under, a uh, big difference between the two teams as far as the types of games they've been playing. Orlando mostly over the line, Cleveland mostly under the line. A score prediction has Cleveland by a single point, and this would be an over-the-line score if it was 123 to 122. But the confidence in the prediction is still rather low at 52%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Orlando has an advantage of plus 25 to plus 20. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams, Cleveland won the last game on December the 6th, and Orlando won the previous game on October the 12th. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent the teams have been with regard to their favorite underdog status, you see that Orlando is very consistent at plus 7, while Orlando is very inconsistent at, actually it's the other way around, excuse me, Cleveland was the inconsistent one at minus two, and Orlando is a consistent one here at plus seven. So in the end, though, I like Orlando at home. Uh, this could be a side in an overtime game. I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, overtime win for Orlando in a game over the line. Okay, in the end, Detroit will not look at that one, or Miami and Charlotte. It's a full slate of games. So you can take a look at any of these as you wish, but I'm going to just review five of them for you today. Um, Denver and Atlanta, this should be an interesting contest. Although Atlanta's playing very poor as of late, they're 1-5 over their last six. Uh, Denver is also playing bad at the moment. Losers of their last three, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. You can see that Denver is the favorite at 1.702 to 2.338 odds. As far as the over-under goes, you can see that uh, the teams have been trending mostly, eh, Pretty even over under the last six games. You can see Denver four over two under, Atlanta three over three under. The score prediction has Atlanta by a single point, 116 to 115. Confidence in prediction is 60%. The big matchup here is the two stars, Nicole Jokic for uh, Denver and Trey Young for the Atlanta Hawks. So it should be an interesting contest. Uh, probably a lot of points being put up on the board. Denver has an advantage, although. Uh, they are on the downward trend as well as Atlanta, plus 22 to plus 6 on the uh, power ranks indicator. Head-to-head, -head, the two teams have not yet met this season, so we don't really need to take a look at that. Stability-wise, both teams have been moderately consistent. Although you can see that Denver was more consistent back a month ago where they were plus 8, and now they are plus 5. So in the end, I think Denver is just too good. I like Denver on the road. It's going to be a close game, but I like Denver on the road. And I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. I initially was going to go over, but uh, it's just been pretty pretty even over-under as I wait with these two teams. So I'm going to pass on the over-and-under bet. Next game we want to look at is Toronto and New York. This is a good Atlantic Division battle. Uh, you see that uh, New York is a favorite in this one. Toronto is dead status and New York is averaged down. Toronto has lost five out of their last six, while the Knicks have are three and three over the last six. The score prediction has New York by a 118 to 114 margin with confidence in prediction of about 50%. And this has changed since I looked at this earlier. Um, this, so this um, score prediction does change in time to take a look at this as it gets closer and closer to the game. As far as the over under goes, the Knicks have been involved mostly in games over the line and um, Toronto mostly in games under the line, so it might be a good indication to pass on the over under bet, but we'll get to that later. You see, New York has been up and down on the power ranks indicator. The they were at 25 on December 5th, and they've dipped to 
plus eight and Toronto is on a downward trend as of lately. They are at plus eight and it was 18 for New York and eight for Toronto. So pretty good advantage for New York in that category. Head to head, the last game was all was New York by 13 points on the road in Toronto as an underdog. So New York really took care of business in that one. If you look at the stability factor, New York has been much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 12 compared to plus two. New York is higher in the standings as well. I think this is going to be the a Knicks win, and I like them to win rather easily. Uh, let's go with the Knicks in by double digits. But I'm going to pass on the over/under bet in this one. Okay, the next game we want to take a look at Minnesota and New Orleans. Minnesota is the best team in the league right now. They have won their last six, burning hot status on New Orleans. Average down loses of two out of their last three and coming off a really big blowout loss. Look at this 133 to 89 to the Lakers. There's a really bad loss for them in that one. And the over under, the teams have been trending on in games on opposite sides of the over under line. Uh, two over compared to four under for Minnesota and three over and three under for New Orleans. The score predictor has Minnesota by 11 points. Pretty good margin of win for a road team. 129 to 118. Confidence in the prediction is pretty high as well at 70%. The power ranks indicator shows Minnesota at the top of the league. Not a surprise at plus 29. New Orleans up and down. A lot of big up and down swings there at plus 14. If you go head to head, the two teams met back on November the 18th and Minnesota won by a single point. And they also met on November 8th and Minnesota won by 21 in that one. So one tight game and one blowout game. I think this is going to be a rather easy win for uh, Minnesota. They just, uh, they're just they just playing really good ball right now. I like Minnesota to win this one in a game going over the line. And we see there's a bunch of other games here slated for Monday. We're going to take a look at one more of these Let me get down here. Portland and Los Angeles. So in this Western Conference battle, the Clippers are coming in burning hot winners of four out of their last six, while Portland is ice cold down. You can see they have lost four out of their last six. Uh, the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over under line as of late over the last three games. Two over for Portland and three under for the Clippers. And even before then, opposite sides, three under for Portland, three over for the Clippers. Um, Portland is given a 34% confidence in the prediction, very, very low, but for what it's worth, 112-107 in favor of Portland, but I would take this with a grain of salt unless this percentage gets really high. Take a look at that as it gets closer to game time. The Clippers have a plus 16 to plus 8 edge on the uh, power ranks indicator. You can see that has, cha that has changed because back on December 2nd, it was Portland that had the advantage in that category, but the Clippers have been playing much better as of late. Head-to-head wise, the Clippers won by 11 back on October 25th. And they were a huge favorite at that point. Uh, I like in this game, I like Los Angeles. I think they're going to win. They could win by 10 points or more. I think it's going to be a high scoring contest. So let's go with the Clippers and over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for um, it's going to be Monday, December the 11th. Happy betting. And we will see you next time.